All right, good afternoon, guys. We're up in Maine. And we're going for whatever stocked in the stream. I have no idea. And what I'm doing is I'm walking away from everybody that's in the hedge couple pools there. One, because it's, I don't like fishing next to people. And two, I'm sure they've stocked down here further, which is always good. So let's walk down here and see if there's any fish. A little warmer out than expected. So I might get a little bit toasty. And I think the particular trail for this river is actually on the other side, so I might be SOL. Nice vernal pool. Hopefully that doesn't dry up in the rest of the springtime here. Goat path. Kind of figured. Yeah, let's push back through that. Kind of low hold some of them, but that's okay. Nice crystal clear water. Not too far away from uh, the main road here, and I have a mop fly on, so I'm actually gonna head down to where it's a little bit deeper or until I see fish. And actually, I can take my little indicator off and see if there's any fish in these little ripples in the back here. Just try to tight line them. I'm not seeing any fish, doesn't mean they're not here. But if I was a trout, I wouldn't be in this crystal clear stuff. Right away, I'd be in that pool down there. Kind of fall through there. You just want to check all these little All these little, just slightly deeper ripple areas. And you want to check any ripple. So one of the things that trout love is to hide from predators. Just like most things that are, are can be prey. So anytime you can't see in the water, or you can't see the bottom, whether it's ripples or not, that's a good place to throw your, throw your fly into up on this pool here. Stay out of sight as much as possible and keep the foot noise to a minimum. I'll let that go all the way to the end of the pool there. And then reset it. Nice long drift. No fish. Fire that back up there again, right at the head of the pool. Definitely not ticking bottom, but in these deeper pools, they might come up and actually hit it. Oh, I might have just seen a fish move in there. Not 100% sure. Put a streamer on. Just so I can effectively fish. Downstream like this. This should be right on top of you guys next to this cat. Close. All right, you guys are feeling the rapid split shot now. downstream and uh, get this fish. There we go. 
nice looking rookie. Only a nice main brook trout. Going back in. Fire it up. I'm going to do it again. So that one, I saw a strike at it and miss, and then I set the hook, basically. That's why he was uh, quite funky. All right, enough of those guys. Let's see if there's any in this little pool over here. He took it, he took it, he took it, he took it. No, 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 you get over here. Get over here on 5X. rookie than uh, New Hampshire. We get a way better, way better drift from this side. Well, not a bad quick little fly fishing spot. I went downstream at first, obviously, and uh, didn't catch anything. And then all the fish were upstream stacked in one little spot, one little cold river below the dam spot. Um, if you know where I am, keep it a secret, of course. But uh, yeah, that first first rookie there was snagged in the tail, and some people say like break it off. But I had a two X on my main fly, so I wasn't gonna break that off anytime soon. And that's what happens when they just miss the fly sometimes and uh, swipe at it. But thanks again for watching, and until uh, next time, keep fly fishing.